Hi, my name is Taza Shamming, and I am a first-year graduate student at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology in the Department of Natural Resources. And today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to put up nest boxes. You only need a few simple tools. You need the nest box itself, conduit, this is half inch, you can also use three quarter inch or a fence post, rebar to put the hole into the ground initially, a rubber mallet or a hammer to get the rebar into the ground, two U-clamps to attach the conduit to the nest box, a couple of screws, a hammer to get the screws started, and then a drill or even a screwdriver. So first I'm going to prop the nest box up. And I'll put the two U-clamps onto the conduit. I'll get the four screws started with a hammer and then I'll drill them in. And you do want to use screws that are short enough that they don't go all the way through and stick way into the box. And then I'll drill them in. Now that the box is on the post, I'm going to first put a hole into the ground to slide the conduit into. You want to try to get the hole about 18 inches into the ground. And there we are. And putting up a nest box is just that easy. Whether you buy or build a nest box, there's a couple of simple characteristics you want to look for. You want to make sure that there is not a perch. That's important because that allows predators to sit next to the front of the nest box. You do need to have ventilation holes on the side of the box. This is important to prevent the buildup of condensation. This box also has drainage holes on the bottom. It is waterproof, which is great because you don't want the eggs nor the nestlings to get wet. Simple wood is adequate as well though. You want to make sure that there's a way for it to open. This one opens from the front, which enables easy cleaning. This is a great nest box for monitoring because the top opens. This is great for monitoring all species because you can look right in. This box is made of three quarter inch rough cut wood. It's important to have rough cut wood because many species need the rough cut so that the young can grip onto the sides and crawl up and out and it's not stained, it's not painted. This front hole is where the birds will come in and out and you want to specifically look for a size that's appropriate for the birds that you're trying to attract. This is a one and a quarter inch hole which is used for house wrens and chickadees. Most of the bird species need a hole that's a little bit bigger. Following these guidelines is going to help ensure that you are providing cavity nesting birds with a safe and high quality place to raise their young.